Hello, welcome to channel Easy Self Host. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run a private password manager on your home server or on cloud to achieve both convenience and privacy for your online accounts. Reusing password is risky, and memorizing unique password for numerous accounts is impractical. Password managers generate and manage distinct passwords for each account, and they offer automated password input across devices. Commercial and public password manager services are great, but to use them, you are entrusting your most sensitive data to this company, which could potentially result in data loss or data leak. In fact, these companies can inevitably become high-profile hacking targets since they are storing such valuable data. Alternatively, we can run open-source password managers ourselves on home server or on cloud. Bitwarden is a very popular project that offers both server and client apps. Vaultwarden is an unofficial implementation of Bitwarden server that's much easier to run ourselves and is compatible with all Bitwarden client apps. That's what we are going to use in this video. Before we get started, I want to mention that HTTPS is crucial for us to self-host password managers. I'm going to use the HTTPS proxy server I set up in my last video. OK, let's get started. We are still going to use Docker Compose to deploy our Vault Warden server. Let's create a Docker Compose file on our server using VS Code. And here is the simple Compose file we are going to use for Vault Warden. We are going to use the official Vault Warden image. And let's declare the proxy network and include it in the Vault Warden service so our proxy server can find Vault Warden. Next, let's dive in the command line. Find our Docker Compose file and bring up the Docker services using Docker Compose app. Then go to the Nginx proxy manager and create a proxy rule that points to our Vault Warden container and turn on HTTPS using our wildcard certificate. After this, Vault Warden will be ready to use. Let's first go to its web interface and create an account with master password. In this web UI, we can create and manage our account and passwords, but actually we are going to use the Bitwarden client apps more often. We can download them for any platforms on Bitwarden website. To use them against our own Vault Warden server, we need to configure the server URL to our own server before logging in. After that, we can log in using our account and password. There are a few points I want to mention for using Bitwarden and Vault Warden. The first thing is that if you are running Vault Warden server at home, you can still use Bitwarden apps outside your home network if you sync your device against your server before leaving home, and the client apps will sync automatically from time to time. The another thing is that Vault Warden server store your data in a SQLite database file on your server by default, so that data should be backed up properly. In my next video, I'm going to show you how I do backups for the services I run to a cloud storage system with very low cost. Okay, that's it for today's video. Please consider subscribing for content like this. You can also find a text version of the tutorial on the website easycellhost.com. The Docker Compose file is on GitHub and the link is in description below. Thank you for watching.